Hello, this video joins this project part of the way through. Originally is going to be a video at the end showing how I managed to do this, but it's taking so long I decided to break it down and do it as I go along. So for years I've wanted one of these pocket Sinclair TVs, because I like Sinclair products in general, but this is quite quirky because it uses a flat screen CRT to give it a slow profile. So rather than firing from the front to the back, it fires from the side here down onto the screen. Now, I've been trying to figure out for ages, how do I get video footage back onto these TVs? With the help of the back office show, I'll put a link to the video description below, I found out that using one of these, which is a Nintendo 64 RF out module, means I can put a composite video signal from the Raspberry Pi, in this case, into this RF signal and then out via this cable to the TVs. I don't have to plug it in because it will act like a short range antenna. So my TV here is not currently working. I will come to that in a minute. This is a friend of mine's TV, which does actually function. So what I can do is if I move this across and zoom in, we can see this working. So I've got the Raspberry Pi playing a video put together on a loop. If I just turn this light off a second. We can see we have signal and that's coming from this aerial cable here into the TV, there's no other cables going in, just the power here. And the white cable you see coming out goes to the USB and the other two cables go to the RF modulator. Now that looks pretty good and as well as it can be expected for a TV this age. Now if we compare that to mine, That's what I'm getting right now. So I was getting a better picture than this because what I had to do is I had to go in and replace some of the capacitors. There is a helpful surface manual online which did point out that some of the capacitors go over time and cause certain problems with the screen. Mine had like a fishtail effect where it was angling inwards and splaying out again. So after repairing that, I now have this problem after a couple of days it was doing a better picture so I've replaced a whole lot of capacitors in the power multiplier stage and the next thing to do is to go through and try and clean all the solder joints because we flowing didn't work there's a lot of flux damage or appears to be flux damage underneath so I need to go through take it apart desolder and clean all of that and sound not working either so I've got that, that to also figure out I will do a more in-depth video on the TV and my setup with the Pi once I've got it all working I plan to put this all into a case make it look a lot nicer uh, if anyone knows anything about these and about common problems that they have Feel free to comment below and let me know. Any help is greatly appreciated. And I will hopefully bring an update soon once I have desoldered and cleaned all the uh, joints. I know this is plastered all over YouTube now, but if you wish to receive updates on this, it's Pocket TV and other projects, feel free to press subscribe down below. Feel free to leave a comment if you've got any questions or suggestions for this. They're greatly appreciated. And if you like this or su subsequent videos, feel free to press the like button. Until next time.